Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the God of High School, episode number 10. Uh, the previous episode was so good, like uh, we saw like two new powers coming out. Uh, first of all, the first one was... Uh, uh, what was her name? Uh, Yumira, Yum yeah. Uh, her uh, chariot, uh, that is Lubu's power and uh, the other was Jin Mori's uh, twin dragon or like uh, it was called something like that uh, that power and uh, like uh, in the previous episode I kind of said like uh, was that uh, Jin Mori's chariot but I think that no that was not his chariot because chariot are like uh, what can I say like they're like uh, I think as far as I could understand uh, looking at uh, Yomira's uh, chariot uh, it is something that you make like a make a contract with something like uh, some kind of legend or something and uh, like they come and like you in, like uh, their power come to you comes to you and it is uh, like almost a lot like uh, stands in Jojo uh, like I don't know if uh, like the functionality are also the same but it is kind of like th that and I doubt like uh, that was uh, Jun, Jun Mori's uh, chariot because that was like him just uh, making like using a move like he even used that move before but like a uh, inferior version to it so I don't think that was his chariot so like his chariot would be even better as far as I can say like uh, if his uh, like original power is that strong just imagine anyways like this is just my guess I like I might be wrong but still like I would probably like we would get the answer uh, as the anime uh, proceeds so without further ado guys let's get started with episode number 10 of God of High School alright I'll be putting the timer and the subtitles here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started okay I'm starting the countdown 3 2 1 go Okay. Four years ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Who is this? Who is the other guy? That sounds a lot like a girl. Or not oh no that's that might be just a guy I might be wrong <clears throat> oh it is a woman okay oh no <coughs> god damn this guy loves beating up women like what the hell and men as well Okay, so that, that's why he has a grudge against. Oh, that is also the reason he beat him up. Oh, God. Oh, so he's going to wish for like her to be okay. Okay, so like he has this type of uh, backstory.
Okay. Like, uh, I think this is like probably going to end soon. Like, uh, this is the 10th episode. And uh, probably 11 or 12 episodes long. I don't know if they're, they're going to make a second season or not, but like. I don't know like they might like end it abruptly because like as far as I can see like they're in the midst of a tournament and like like so how are they going to like adjust it I, I, I don't get that like are they going to like uh, stop midway off and like probably make a second part of it later on like in the next year which will continue the uh, anime series from where it left off. I don't know. Hmm. Oath meaning. Yeah. We'll proceed to the semi finals. Well, it's Noxia. <laughs> this guy was talking big. Oh, killed him or not? What? Uh, all right. Well, okay. Yes. Damn, the weapon is like. Extremely cool looking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Damn. Ooh, those muscles, man. Okay. Oh, he he's like is or not. Okay, that Okay, okay. All right. His balance, his balance got out of whack. Yeah. Damn. Like he's using science. <laughs> oh my god. Cranium fracture! Damn! Okay, that is more like a shoulder fracture, not a cranium fracture. A certain god. They don't accept like this. Any god but their own. Oh. Alright. Okay, so. Well, wait, his uh, grandfather is okay, isn't he? Like, that was just a decoy, or not, I don't know. Uh, yeah. What the hell is that? Okay, like his training is paying off. Damn. Oof. All right. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think she's going to listen. Oh, she's a sister. Or, or not, I don't know. Yeah, they kind of look similar. So they might be siblings. Like, she's calling her Nathan, but like that doesn't necessarily mean that you're like a real sister okay oh damn oof yep Well, her, his train. Hmm. Okay. Oh, she's here. Fighting for someone else is okay, but like you also have to like make yourself your mind up and fight for yourself as well. Like, do not fight for others. Fight because you want to fight for others. Because of your choice, not because of the others. Like, you decide you want to fight for the others. That is the right way. Wait, what happened here? Oh my god, the enemy came in, like, infiltrated? And killed them. So that no... Sang Mandeok. Okay. Park Mujin is here. <laughs> Let's see. Damn, this guy looks like someone from complete different anime. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, Park Mujin is surprised. That is not okay, like... <laughs> That's quite concerning. Oh, th that weapon, that whatever that was. Oh. Well, I know not whose child it is. It existed before God. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like we can always under like see that. Oh, he's using that weapon, that uh, that uh, power, that hand power, <laughs> that he used to like flatten an island. I don't know what that is, but whatever that is, that's cool. Okay. Oh.
Okay. Damn, the movements. Ooh. Okay. All right. First week weakness. Bad at close combat. Okay, we stopped him. Oh, ah, here it is. Well, he has some tricks up his sleeves as well, so oh. Okay. Oh no, will he let like, loose? Plays too much strength, yeah. Oh god, he is bringing out something else. Oh, what the hell? Huge eyeballs out of the ground. Oh my god, he's summoning something. Some kind of demon from... Okay. Well, you should probably run. What is that? Wait, what? They called a god? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh, like the power level is quite. Well, the. Like, this tournament is looking like child's play compared to that. Oh my god. He, he's provoking him. <laughs> Damn, the animation is smooth. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Wait, what what did he do? Oh my god, <laughs> what? He copied Mira's technique. And who is this guy? Who the hell? What the hell are they doing? Like, make, like doing a picnic or what? Oh, they're the orchestra. Alright. <laughs> he copied her. What the hell? <laughs> god damn. Ooh. Yes, yes, okay. A strain on the body, like. This guy is like copying everyone. Yeah. What is this guy doing? What is happening? <coughs> wow. Damn. Oh, he's one of the six. Okay. Uh, okay. What the hell is. <laughs> <laughs> He's firing bazookas, uh, arrows, and what else? Like some automatic rifles and damn, a machine gun. <laughs> oh my god. Okay.
Okay. Oh. It's almost. Yeah, kind of. Damn. <laughs> Damn, this guy. This guy is, is like so amazing. Oh god. Okay, this I'm liking this episode a lot as well. Like, damn, the music is also like, oh my god, this is great. Okay, Miss Mr. God is in trouble now. Okay, damn. Oof. Damn, the music is amazing. Like, it's like it is extremely comp. Uh, what can I say? Fit for this type of. Well, number three. Here you go. Blue Dragon Tempest. Okay, um, I think <laughs> the stadium will be in pieces now like oh God What the hell oh my god He's gonna eat it Like only one, like one of the sixes power is just enough to stop it. Like obviously, like he has uh, Park Mujin's support as well behind him, but still. Okay. Well, your plan is has failed now. What are you going to do? Damn, this guy's cool. Okay. <laughs> Damn, he's crying. <laughs> okay, like it was something his grandfather asked him to. <laughs> okay. Wow, this guy's having a party now. What? Wait. What is that? What the? Is that a chak chariak or something? What the? What is GP? Like I forgot. Like is that his chariak? Chakriak? He is the key? Wait, what? I always thought that it was Jin Modi, but like, like obviously the anime did not say anything like that, but usually that's what, like that's the case. Like the main character is usually the one. Or like there are multiple keys, I don't know. Damn, he become a, like, what can I say? Um, some kind of a yokai like you know those yokais with like fox ears okay the anime is like uh, picking up its tempo uh, like almost at the end like if they were able to do this from the beginning 
uh, this would have been a lot more what what can I say like enjoyable because like oh definitely this anime is enjoyable but like f for the couple like the previous episode and this one like these two are like uh, what can I say like the one of the best episodes of this anime I've seen so like I don't know like if that like they kind of like uh, that's also not the anime's uh, like uh, problem because like uh, like the content is like that I think like I, like I'm trying to say is that uh, like in the okay it's the end like in the beginning uh, obviously things were as, as not so much of like what can I say uh, like like we are now getting to see everything and uh, getting to know a lot of other things and like things are picking up so like obviously at the beginning of the anime things kind of start slow so I think like uh, that is the reason why like suddenly it's like picking up its pace because obviously the manga or the webtoon is written in that way so like that's definitely not the fault of the animation team like they have to um, follow the manga so like yeah like that is not uh, what can I say that is not something that I can fault them with uh, so yeah but um, like as things are like picking up and we're getting to know a lot of other things uh, I think like if they make uh, if they make a second season and I think they will probably make if like this one uh, is popular enough and uh, like the webtoon is popular but I don't know what will happen to the anime anyways but so if they are able to like if they make a second season I think it will be exciting from the get-go because like obviously we're in the midst of a tournament and usually in these type of situations a uh, new powers and new kind of like things come out so like which is making the uh, uh, like anime a lot more exciting now like in the beginning episodes they were building up the world and like obviously the first episode was extremely amazing because like of the various type of fighting scenes and the new type of smooth animations and stuff but it, we kind of like took it for granted after one or two episodes and uh, like like this is what happens like if uh, like an anime starts with some amazing fluid animations and stuff we start to take it for granted and uh, like if like it reduces its quality or something else happens or, or the story stops becoming interesting uh, we like like start to say like yeah like this has become bad or like this was not as good but at the same time if like uh, another anime is like starting is extremely bad but suddenly like there is uh, one or two episodes which are like so good uh, we start praising them like this is what happens like if uh, like the thing is like <laughs> as we know that uh, if a good guy makes a single mistake they are like uh, what can I say like uh, like they get a lot of hate for that but if a bad person do does one good thing they're praised like this is the thing what happens so <laughs> yeah anyways um this episode was like quite good and uh, like obviously uh, the previous episode was good as well and this is good like along with it like uh, it feels as if like uh, they kept the pace and the tempo ongoing uh, from the previous episode like, the previous episode was exciting and stuff like all of those things happening new powers and uh, <coughs> Mira uh, making like a contract with the Chadiak and uh, all of these things happened and this episode kind of like carried the tempo and I don't know like if in the last few episodes will also be like that but I'm like wishing or hoping like uh, it continues like that and in this episode we get a little backstory at the beginning uh, that is Ilpio I think his name is um, his uh, friend I suppose I don't know if it is his friend or like someone from his family I don't know that girl but anyways like uh, I, I think most probably his friend uh, they like had like a history with that blue haired guy I forgot his name anyways that guy who beats women up <laughs> and men as well uh, and like he beats people up not women and men but beats people like anyone up like he even tried to kill Jin Mori and uh, like he just I don't know like like anyone who goes uh, against him he beats him up 
and like they had like kind of like a past between those two uh, he took the girl's ability to participate in martial arts and uh, uh, like they kind of made a promise and stuff but still like if something unfortunate like this happens you can't do anything and like this is not unfortunate this is like deliberate like the guy deliberately um what can i say uh, hit her and uh, made her unable to like uh, made her unable to go like fulfill her dream of martial arts and all of these so like like uh, after that obviously ilpio kind of made a thing that yeah i have to like i have to like first first his revenge portion he kind of beat him up and uh, like that was like that was okay and uh, i hope like uh, i don't know but uh, his revenge thing kind of went down after that and like after that obviously after you are satisfied with your uh, like after he lashed out on him then the next thing obviously is a way to uh, like uh, finding out a way to cure her and uh, like he found out that yeah if i become the god of high school i'll obviously be like <coughs> i'll obviously be able to cure her and uh, like he then started like to um, participate in this tournament and then we uh, understand a bit of what was happening that is like these god things or whatever like uh, we understand that nox is worshiping their own god and they don't want any other god or the disciples of gods to exist so they're trying like wiping them out uh, like in a nutshell this is like like they just want to rule over the world that like in a nutshell that is what is happening and uh, and that is the reason why like they're finding the key and uh, trying to find the key and all of these stuff and after that we see that tournament between uh, han Handway and uh, the sister, like the sister of the girl, uh, who is the teammate of Ilpio, and and uh, Handway won there uh, because obviously of his training from that guy, like the glasses guy, the announcer, and uh, then comes in an enemy from the Nox, and I am thinking like he is kind of like one of the upper people like one of the boss type characters and he like brought out that big uh, weapon from the sky which he <coughs> used on uh, Jin Tejin that is his grandfather and uh, Park Mujin also tries to stop it but like obviously that like the thing is extremely powerful and he also like kind of summons a god along with it and all of the other like lackeys are like standing around and they're also like uh, strengthening his power so and in the meantime uh, Jin Mori and they're fighting <coughs> but the thing here is like we see another person here like one of the six he comes in and just like one of them is enough to help Park Mujin uh, defeat the other people like he single-handedly like uh, boosted the power level of uh, like like Park Mujin was stopping like defending the place and he acted as the offense and destroyed whatever the thing that was coming out of the sky and like the way he did it was so cool and like he's like one of those older cool dudes in the animes we see with the hat and like a stubble <laughs> who is like usually carefree and all of this stuff <laughs> yeah he's one of those dudes and like like uh, his power is quite fascinating like uh he I think like he he definitely needs those people who are like uh, making some music I don't know what that is probably some kind of like uh, strengthening ritual I don't know but anyways uh, they were doing their own stuff and he like started <laughs> pulling out weapons one after the other like all of these weapons were like so diverse and so like had nothing to do with each other like like he brings out a bazooka and the next moment he brings out a spear <laughs> like <laughs> how much mi of a mismatch and then he brings out an like automatic rifle and all of these stuff like <laughs> that was quite cool and uh, yeah and that stopped the god from materializing and during that same time uh, park mujin and uh, uh, sorry jin mori and uh, the guy is like fighting 
and uh, oh also another thing i have to mention here is the music like uh, the music really complemented well with uh, the fighting fight scenes and all of this stuff like i really f like felt like amazing uh, while watching that scene like that was like a good a job well done by them and uh, yeah and uh, like after that during that battle um <sighs> like jin mori impersonates uh mira and handway and like uses their power against him and like <sighs> then we also kind of got to see like how his grandfather has previously asked him to uh, support and teach his grand uh, grandson and uh, yeah that is quite nice like he kind of like gave him small little pointers but at the same time he like he cannot lose here like uh i was thinking like he was probably going to lose like that but like i had forgotten like he himself has done his own uh ambition that is curing his friend so like yeah he can't lose like uh like as 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 long as he has strength left he can't lose like he has his own ambition so like even though jin mori is kind of like uh the guy uh like the person who he looked up to his grandson uh even though like things are like that but still he can't give up because his ambition comes first and the thing he wanted to do so and then we kind of see him like transforming into a fox and i don't know they like said that uh, that is the key and usually like <laughs> in these type of things we see that the key like they were mentioning the key a lot of times and uh, like i don't know uh, usually <laughs> the main characters or someone related to the main characters are usually that basically the main character is the person who like has the key or whatever in and uh, anime is like and but here we see like this guy this guy was like uh, introduced two episodes uh, like earlier and like he has the key now and i don't know like if like definitely uh, jin mori is special in some way because like we have seen uh, a few flashbacks before of him like uh, i don't know like uh, when he like ate the apple you guys remember uh, he kind of like got a flashback or something and also something with his eyes i don't know there's something with his eyes as well so like he is special in some kind of way and i don't know like if this key thing is like one or like there are multiple keys i don't know but uh like he is special in some other way even if he it is not like this way so probably he'll like awaken his power later on i don't know but like as far as this is, we can see now and as it is going uh this guy is the key and uh, the enemy forces like also kind of like under like got the sensation that yeah the key has awakened and so i don't know like are they going to like drop in now and try to mess this thing up or like like or this guy will be so powerful that like nothing will be able to face him we'll see in the ne next episode and uh, probably so yeah but jin mori is in a pinch now so like uh, i'm i'm thinking like he jin, jin mori won't be able to win but uh, mira would probably win the next match and they will still like go to the next round by that way because like uh, the way we we are seeing this like the power level is like too unbalanced uh, the other guy is definitely a lot more stronger than jin mori so i doubt like he'll be able to win so jin mori is going to be able to win so i don't know we'll see uh, uh, in the next episode probably so yeah guys that was this episode uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down below anything you want to say you want to share and i'll be sure to check them out and uh, yeah i i enjoyed this episode quite a lot like uh, the previous episode was good and this was also good so we'll see like if the next episode also kind of like uh, carries this tempo on and like the and they end it with a bang we're going to see so yeah thank you guys for watching again and i'll be back with a new god of high school episode next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day